What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today I've got another smart home episode where we bring together some great accessories that are easy to add to your home automation setup but even for people who are just getting into like the smart home upgrade space are able to set up very easily and get a system going where all of your products are nicely interconnected but at the same time it can enhance your overall home tech experience by a lot. These products are all relatively accessible. You can find them on Amazon. And I always try to focus on different areas depending on the episode. There are some videos where we take a look at the absolute best in each category that might come in at a premium price point. But for this one, it definitely focuses towards a value perspective where the products are very, very good and absolutely reliable as I've have experience from using them, but coming at a very good price point when it comes to bundling them together and also being within one ecosystem. Them. These products are all powered by MediaTek processors and I want to give a huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video and if you would like to win some items from this video just make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel, drop a thumbs up on this video and leave a comment down below with your Instagram username and I'll be contacting a winner directly on Instagram in a month. Just don't fall for any of the spam accounts that reply to you down there. With all these smart home episodes, I also like to take the opportunity to check out a cool space that really fits into the vibe of like a micro smart home loft. And in this case, we're in a 500 square foot studio where all of the tech is very nicely dialed in and well saturated. And it's a perfect example of setting up a smart home setup no matter what size your place is. So because the space is relatively compact in size, it's a great opportunity to build a very immersive home theater living room experience. I actually do prefer small spaces because you can really focus in on what is on the TV. And a lot of times with a very wide and open space, you find that you have to kind of fill in different areas to make it feel nice and cozy. So in this case, one of the best home tech upgrades that you can add is an immersive soundbar. Soundbars are really good because they're unified. They have multiple speakers that are built in and in relatively minimal footprint that you're able to either have on like a media console or mounted on the wall but in this case the Vizio V series which is powered by MediaTek is a 5.1 setup that still fits into a very compact size of like a 50 inch TV setup. The main soundbar element features six internal speakers as well as a dedicated center speaker and you can see that it is relatively narrow you have all of your button controls on the top and on top of that what I really like about this set in particular especially especially at its price point, is that it also includes two satellite speakers that you're either able to have on the left and right side of the TV, or you could also have it behind you to create that immersive experience. And I'm seeing that increasingly popular in soundbar setups a lot of times at much higher price points. So I think we recently just reviewed one where the entire setup costed over $2,000. And this Vizio setup right here is less than one tenth of that price. You also get a five inch subwoofer with that setup. And I just feel like the scale of this soundbar setup is just perfect for a space like this or any condo living room media center. It features Dolby Audio and DTS surround sound support. And you can also have it in a stereo mode where all of your music is evenly distributed across all the speakers to be able to create that immersive and amplified experience as much as possible. It also utilizes HDMI arc, which is kind of the trend with some of the best soundbars on the market right now. And when it comes to the sound quality, I would say for its price point, just based on the setup where you get two satellite speakers as well as a subwoofer and a great sound bar, it's just an incredible value and the sound quality is definitely there relative to where it's priced at. There are options out there that cost multiples more and are more sophisticated in certain ways, but I feel like this setup right here is just the most recommendable option because you're getting a great value for what it's offered at. In this setup in particular, we're sitting just about six and a half feet away from the TV, which is just perfect for the amount of sound that is able to amplify. And the configuration I have in this loft is the satellite speakers on the front of each side and the soundbar in the middle, just because there isn't too much room behind or area for a console table. So the next few products that we're checking out are from Miros. And these are some of my favorite when it comes to an accessible option of home tech that provides great value, especially if you go ahead and purchase it in a set of like two and four. I think the per unit price of the Miros switch, for example, comes down to under like $5 if you go ahead and buy the pack of four. And they also go on sale quite often and are all powered by MediaTek. 
On this side, we also have the Mira smart bulb, which has RGB lighting as well as different Kelvin settings. And we're gonna talk about that separately on the lamp over there. But there's also a Mira single pole smart switch that is able to automate the light switches in your house and are very easy to install. So taking a look at the smart plug first, this is something that we featured on the channel before because I actually use it in our office loft. I have one for the neon light with our logo on it, as well as one for like the mini bar. And the way I have it set up is that it has a schedule to turn on at 9 a.m. and turn off at 6 p.m. when we leave work each day. That way we don't have these lights running 24 seven. You're able to utilize the Miros app to control them remotely, set it to different schedules, save power, and some other use cases could be with like a lamp for example, and also things such as diffusers, dehumidifiers, and things that you want to just have on more of like a scheduled and controlled basis as opposed to having it on 24-7. These are just like the type of accessories that you can add anywhere in your house. The options are limitless, you can really customize them, and you can never have enough of these. The next product right here is a single pole light switch, and this is something that can be controlled via the Miros app, but just like any of the Miros products in the ecosystem, you can also utilize Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, or Apple HomeKit, depending on your own preference. So in this case, you just go ahead and install it very simply, and it just replaces the existing light switches that you might have around your house. What is also nice about this and the smart plug is that there's no central hub required. You just connect it via Wi-Fi and it directly communicates with the network and from there you can add it to your Miros app and on your account and it'll show up and let you customize the location name, the routine, depending on the light that you're controlling. So in this case, in this studio, there's actually three different lights on the same panel, one of which is the hallway, one of them is a the kitchen, and the other is a living room, and all of them have their individualized routine that are set from the smartphone, but you can also just walk up to it and control it. And I also like the fact that there's a signal indicating light on the bottom that not only serves as a nice night light to be able to figure out where the light switch is when everything is dark, but it also shows the status. I just really like that for an item that is very easy to integrate into your smart home setup, it is just so easy to install and get running right away. And you can also utilize voice control just like all of these accessories. So a product that brings all the items that we mentioned in this video together into one area is the Amazon Echo Show 5, also powered by MediaTek. This right here has a 5.5 inch display, and not only are you able to view the time, the weather, talk to Alexa, but at the same time, you can also control all of the smart home products through this as a central hub. Even though smartphones are great for like controlling the entire system, and with all the products that we've talked about today from like Miros, for example, being easy to control from the smartphone, I think it's always nice to still have a dedicated smart home hub. And I feel like there's no better product than this when it comes to an all-in-one solution. By having it next to your desk, or as well as like the bedside, or even in the kitchen, for example, you can kind of choose where you want to have it, or you could also have multiple around the house to be able to easily and intuitively control your smart home sequences from the touch of a screen. So when it comes to smart bulbs, there are also a lot of options on the market. And Miros makes one that once again comes in packs of multiples. And this right here is one that has an 810 lumen brightness, which is brighter than a lot of the other options on the market. On top of that, it still has all the great RGB settings, the ability to go between 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin, adjust all the brightness very specifically, and can be completely controlled via remote access, or voice assistant. So as you can see behind me, we have this light set up and you can change all the different color settings within like a wheel, as well as just using it in different moods of white. So say you want like a more like chill feel, you can have it at like a 2700 Kelvin where it's just very warm and soft, or in other situations where you wanna feel very energized, you can set it to something like 5000 or 5500 Kelvin, which is a lot brighter, bluer, and kind of emulates sunlight, which is very important if you you live in an area like I do where it rains a lot and a lot of times it can be very gloomy during the winter months. What I also really like about it, in addition to all the other Miros products, is that it once again doesn't need a specific hub. The Philips Hue lights, for example, do utilize a hub or a bridge system, which costs additional money, but in this case, they connect via Wi-Fi individually, and so it just makes the whole setup process very easy, and these are also LED bulbs, which save a lot in terms of power costs if you have these lights on all day. So with any smart home setup, the most important thing perhaps is your internet connection, because at the end of the day, all the products individually do have to connect to your main router. And especially if you live in like a condo building where there are tons of routers, 
there can be issues with like disturbance sometimes. And I know a lot of times people are not going to need like the latest and greatest Wi-Fi 6 and all of that. But TP-Link is a company that has a lot of great options out there depending on your needs and also the abilities to have all of the latest and greatest technologies at price points that just make a lot of sense, especially if you want to be future-proof. This right here is a TP-Link Archer AX1800 dual band router. And the reason why the name has the 1800 is because the five gigahertz band has a 1200 megabits per second bandwidth, whereas the two gigahertz band has a 574 megabit per second bandwidth, which totals to a combined speed of 1.8 gigabits per second. This is a Wi-Fi 6 router, which makes it very future-proof and is able to give you good optimization when you have a lot of devices connected to it. And especially when it comes to like home tech as well, where in the past I've experienced connectivity issues between different types of networks where there can be interference and stuff or just general reliability issues. So this is one that is able to support a relatively heavy load of tech products, both in the home tech side, as well as general usage, such as computers, um, things that are wired to it, game consoles and everything. For like a 500 square foot unit, this is obviously a little bit much. It's got four antennas, but you can ensure the reliability is going to be top notch at all times. And even if you have like a house that is three to four bedrooms, the singular router is able to accommodate that. And if you wanna go ahead and purchase like separate access points, you can actually set up a mesh system through the TP-Link ecosystem, which is something that I've also used in the past. In condos though, I think having one of these is more than enough. This is all powered by a 1.5 gigahertz quad-core MediaTek processor, which delivers the processing power needed to give you that smart optimization between the bands, the connectivity and reliability, but also prioritizing different devices to ensure you're getting the maximum performance based on what is being actively used at the moment. On the port side of things, you have four gigabit LAN ports on the back, which is pretty standard, as well as your WAN port. You also have USB and yeah, I mean, it is just a very good option that I've recommended for many years now. And you guys have seen on the channel, we've checked out the 1800. We've also checked out the 1500, as well as like their very small travel routers that are really good for hotel setups where you buy the internet once, plug it in via ethernet and be able to create an access point while you're on the go. TP-Link has been around for a while and these are very reliable options at great price points. Let's just show you how this overall studio is organized and how we'll optimize this 500 square foot unit is by having different zones of separation that not only feel cozy, but at the same time still feels very nice and open. I think that's the most important thing when it comes to optimizing a studio. Fred has laid this out very nicely. So if you guys wanna go ahead and check out his smart home TikToks, I'm gonna drop a link down below. But the first thing right here is just this coffee area. You have a spot for the kettle, the pour over, as well as the grinder, which you guys have seen in videos in the past, but it's also a good spot for the router because it's in the central hub of this unit. This router is one that is very powerful, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but I think by having a nice display of something that you're very interested in, such as the art of making coffee, is really cool, and there's also just like a bit of a sign here, a plant that kind of hangs down. Um, and the kitchen side of things, this unit is just very well designed to start with. I think this kitchen looks really good. It's modern, industrial, and at the same time, Brett has also added a set of Miro's LED lights that go all the way across. And we're gonna be checking out a lot of Miro's products in this video because they're not only affordable, but at the same time, they connect with the whole smart home system, are easy to control. And the best part about it is that they don't require a hub. So by having like an LED light just open up here, I think that is always an important touch to a kitchen. And in this case, it is just very seamlessly integrated. Right in the middle here, you have an island, and this is just a good spot to kind of chill out, work on a laptop, um, and this is something that didn't actually come with the unit, but it was built to fit that custom size and provides just enough space without taking up too much real estate in the open area. Because as we kind of transition over to here, you can see this is the living room that I'm always very excited about because I love talking about like home theaters, living room setups, and I think with a unit of this size, separating it with a couch just makes it very cozy because you're close to the TV, but at the same time with a good audio system, such as like the Vizio, you're able to get a nice surround experience through the soundbar and through the two satellite speakers paired up with the subwoofer. 
Some of the other touches include smart LED bulbs in the backdrop of the TV that adapt based on what is being played on screen. And in the corner here, we also have a set of light bulbs that are built into like an Ikea lamp. And these are also from Miros and Smart Home Controlled under the same system and can also be utilized with your smart home system of choice. And I think what you're gonna notice about Brett's place is that he's just done a good job of kind of syncing everything together to have different sequences and adaptive to different moods and habits based on the preferences that he's kind of noticed after having everything plugged in and tuned exactly the way that he likes it. Over in the corner here is his work from home setup. And once again, I think this is a very good use of space. It's not too close to the living room um, considering the size, but at the same time, you have a great size desk and for someone who spends most of the day at like the computer, this ultra wide display can easily be adjusted. You have the sit stand settings and at the same time, his computer is actually even connected to a button on the desk to be able to turn on and off, but also connect the laptop at any time. These pegboards are also things that you guys have seen us feature in previous videos, and they not only add additional storage, but allow you to display things that you're interested in and also have a quick grab and go access. So here he has his Canon camera. There's also an FPV drone, um, a light that is also seamlessly integrated with the wire hiding along the horizon of the desk. And from there, you're able to have just a bit of an accent. And I think with any like corner desk setup, it not only feels very cozy, but it's just easy to focus and kind of enjoy yourself as you do work at home. Home. and here we also have like the keyboard a desk mat is also something that we always really recommend but yeah I think we're gonna notice in the space is that it's just very well balanced we've taken a look at how the living room right here is like a really good size uh, with a great TV setup and also just how like the kitchen is not only half of the space but also an area where you can kind of just hang out make your coffee in the morning and just build a really nice smart home and lifestyle routine so now let's go ahead and give you guys a tour of the space and just see how each area is segmented because I feel like it's very well balanced and a very effective use of space. Even though I'm personally really into interior design, one thing that I've always struggled with is making the most out of a given like square footage. Uh, whether it's like a thousand square foot or like my condo for example, I just always have troubles like segmenting into different zones and essentially it becomes a huge mess. So I feel like this is a really good example of like a cozy studio apartment that has all of the great home tech elements but is also extremely well organized. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And this has been a video where we showed you guys some great affordable options that are accessible to everyone. You can go ahead and purchase them on Amazon. I'm gonna drop a link down below. But most of all, these are all powered by MediaTek, which is a, a company that we've checked out on the channel many times throughout all these smart home products in their ecosystem. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one.